after helping Ghana qualify to the World Cup, uh, Jojo Alakot sat down with us over a Zoom call to chat. A great interview, a great conversation we had. We'll have a listen to that interview I had with Jojo Walakot, uh, the Ghana Black Stars number one goalkeeper right now. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Uh, click on the notification bell to get more updates. Today's shout out goes to Joe Lynx. Uh, thank you for interacting with us in the comments box. Keep interacting in the comments box for a chance for a shout. Let's have a listen to Jojo Walakot. Congratulations. Let me start off. Congratulations on your win last uh, weekend. The Skybet 2 player team of the season, goalkeeper of the season. Congratulations <laughs> on that. Uh, congratulations on the qualification to the World Cup with Ghana. Tell me about that. You can start off from there. Uh, how, how are those two achievements for you? What do you, what does that mean for you, those two achievements? Well, if someone, if someone told me you'd be qualified for a World Cup 18 months ago, yeah. I probably wouldn't think <laughs> that's possible. <laughs> I wouldn't, wouldn't have thought about it. Um, look, to play when I first when I got my first call up is a dream because to play for Ghana I grew up over I lived in the UK growing up watching Ghana is just a dream uh, I used to watch it with my mum and every time Ghana is on TV we try our best to watch as much as we can so to actually be a part of it and uh, to <laughs> to even play is such a, it's a privilege a lot of people don't understand this is massive dream come true for me so. so so you talked about your mom there. Tell me about your family. Yeah. How many siblings, yeah. that kind of thing. Just give me a background okay. about Joe Alacott because, so, yeah. Uh, my mom's a single parent. She's been a single parent since we were very young. Oh, okay. Um, she come over to the UK. Uh, I can't tell, I can't remember the exact date, but she come over when she was very young from Accra. Um, yeah, I've got a twin brother as well. He's, oh, really? Yeah, he used to play football, but he's not interested now. He uh, he works at BMW. He fixes the motorbikes, so he likes that sort of. He loves his motorbikes and racing and stuff. Um, yeah, my mum's she's done her best. She sacrificed a lot for me to get yeah. to where today. So you know, I I owe her a lot. I mean, a lot of debt to her. So no. By God's grace, it was all good. It's all good. All right. So let, let's talk about your very first call up to the Black Stars. How did the call come and what did it, what what was the reaction from family and friends about the call? Yeah. Well, <clears throat> the thing is, I think I was frustrated where I was at the club before because I wasn't playing. Yeah. And unfortunately, you need to be playing. So I made the decision to sign for Swindon just to get games, just to play. And uh, it's an opportunity, that was an opportunity that I've been waiting for and I felt like I had to take, I had to show everyone what I was about. Uh, so I played, played a few games there. I was doing okay, like everything was going well. I was on good form. And uh, and then I had, a, I had a conversation with someone here who's quite close, uh, where he's not, it's like the, he bridges the the contacts between UK and and Ghana. Ghana. Yeah, yeah. So he alerted alerted them, and they just they kept they kept me on the radar. Uh, they said I have to keep working hard and just keep waiting for the opportunity. And then I think it was, was it October. I think it was the call up because there was injuries, so I was on the radar. I was this was with Coach Mila at the time. Yeah. Yeah. So they so then they called me up to the squad. And I wasn't even, that's a, there's four keepers. I wasn't even expecting to play. I was just so happy to be. To be, <laughs> the call up yeah. alone was enough. <laughs> exactly, exactly, my friend. That was, that was, to be at the national team was such a privilege. Um, but then, <laughs> that, I mean, that was it. One call and the rest is history. I don't look back. It just, everything's happened so fast since then. I haven't, I haven't had time to tell myself of the achievement that I've sort of oh, yeah. I've done over the past twelve months, but no, it's yeah that first call up is yeah, I would have to pin I still have to pinch myself the whole situation <laughs> of playing for the nation. Now you'll be playing in the World Cup. You'll be meeting the likes of uh, confirmed. Now Cristiano Ronaldo will be your first game. Possibly you'll be trying to stop him from scoring. Talking about 
the World Cup qualifiers and uh, following that uh, unfortunately poor performance at the African Cup of Nations uh, by all the whole team. Did that add some pressure uh, to the team? Did that add something that you needed to prove something following that poor F1 performance? Was that an added pressure? I wouldn't say, of course, there's pressure in football, but I think when you represent a country as great as Ghana, you understand the expectation from everyone. So, <laughs> it, yeah, you know, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, of course, the AFCON, we were, everyone was very disappointed with themselves. But we we knew deep down we had to fight and make, make the nation proud again. So we also have, we have that spirit inside of us that we know we have to perform and we have to we have to lift ourselves up again so i mean yeah there was pressure but we we knew there was there was only one option and that was to win the two yeah. games we had there until there was no other option so i'm i'm glad i'm glad we got over the line how was it like working with uh, otto Addo? what was it like working with him yeah oh, yeah see. he's very good very good obviously he incorporates his ideas and i think the boys are very receptive to it. The boys understood it, and he, you know, the game plan was right over the two games. So, no, it's it's very good to work with him. Also, respects to Coach Miller as well. I thank him a lot for the opportunity for him bringing me in. So, no, yeah, they're very good, very good. And and talking about the qualifiers again, we went to Abuja. That intimidating Ooh. atmosphere, my goodness. I was there myself and the crowd was... Oh, <laughs> I was there, the crowd was something else. How, how did you handle that atmosphere? You, you you did amazingly well, I have to say, because there was a particular save you made in that one. I'll let you watch it and walk me through how you were able to spot that header. But how did you handle the atmosphere? How was it in Abuja? Well, <clears throat> it's the, the first time... I've played in front of over 60,000, but <laughs> I can remember, I remember going out to the warm up and the stadium was full up, my friend. Yeah, everyone was yeah, there. It was. <laughs> I couldn't, I couldn't hear it. Everyone was telling me, I couldn't, I couldn't hear everyone, you know, and you <laughs> feel the ground, like, because people are dancing and singing, you can yes. feel the ground in the Shaking. atmosphere. It was a leg. Yes. But it was one of those, I wasn't nervous at all. That was because one, when you're a small boy, you, these, these, type, these are the type of games you dream of playing in. You want to experience this. Yeah. And also, at the same time, like I said earlier, there's only one option for us to win. I was too focused on anything else. I was just focused on the game. So, I mean, I didn't really notice the crowd as much because I was concentrating so much, but it's, it, was, it was a crazy atmosphere and it's it some more of a life experience for me. So I talked about that save. I'm going to share my screen with you right mm -hmm. now. Yeah. Let me let no me problem. just share my screen. And this is the save I'm talking about. Can you watch it? Can you see it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. It's yeah, yeah, that one. Walk me through this save because it, it was it became a talking point here. Yeah. Did you see did you see much of what was happening? Well the thing is well, yeah, so. uh, it was wide free kick, right? Wasn't yeah, it? yeah, yeah. I can remember I was starting and the ball was coming and the, I wanted to come out and catch, but I realized the delivery was so good and it was so fast that the ball dropped. It was head height, so I couldn't get there. So I thought, I'm in no man's land. I have no, if I go back to the goal, he's going to have yeah. a free header and he could score. So yeah. I think the defending, we, the defending wasn't uh, as good as we wanted because he was on his own. He had a free yeah, header. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I just thought, you know what, just pray to God and just pray yes. myself. <laughs> you know, my friend. Yeah, yeah it's, it's, it's it's instinct. I think instinctively, yeah. you just went in and you got the ball. Congratulations on that. And thank yeah. you. Ghanaians are very thankful. A lot of people did not really think that Joe Alcott could, could stand in because at the time we had an injury to our first choice goalkeeper. And uh, congratulations and thank you on that part from all Ghanaians. No so now, now the World Cup itself and afcon qualifiers to look forward to your stock has obviously risen are we seeing joe alacott moving up from swindon or that's not your thought for now <laughs> uh, my thought for now is to finish the seat to get to get promoted to swindon that's all i'm thinking about i mean when the season's finished that's when all the <laughs> that's for them lot to discuss that's, that's not for me to okay. but for now i just 
finish the season strong. Take every week by week first, and then we we discuss over there. Okay, so you grown up watching Ghana play, as you said. Um, any favorite Ghanaian footballer you have growing up? Anyone who who inspired you during your playing career? Um. The, I'd say it was Asamoah Jan at the time because the world the 2010 sticks out for me. That's yeah, yeah. I can I can remember we all sat here. Everyone had Ghana shirts on. We had a few family as well around. I just the tour. I just remember the tournament then. It was just it was like a celebration of the Ghanaian culture, and I think just because of obviously Asamoah Jan is the the star player, but yeah the. Ghana's had, there's been so many great players over the years. I, I couldn't tell you all of them, but I mean, that tournament, Asamoah Jan, then. Yeah. Yeah, he's the one that stands out for me then, growing up as a young boy. Um, yeah, there's been, there's been a lot of good players <laughs> for the name. Yeah. Okay, so I'll end with this last one here. And um, it has to do with um, you representing a League Two, being a League Two player going into the World Cup. Does that add some sort of uh, pressure on you to perform when you are on this pitch playing because you are representing sort of a whole league for that matter good question uh i don't think it added i actually don't think it added as much pressure i think it i think it gave me more confidence to prove people wrong in that sense because obviously it's unusual for someone from league two to be called up to a national team is, I mean, it probably raised a lot of eyebrows, but I, yeah, like, I don't think there was pressure. I just had, I had to prove a point and I feel like I've, I've almost done that. Still, there's still a lot of, I know there's a lot of work to be done still, but I feel like for now I've proved, I've proved a lot of people wrong. Yeah. Yeah. You have, that you have surely done. Thank you for having me. Thank you for talking to us. This Sahara football. I'll end on a lighter note. Any favorite Ghanaian dish since you've been in Ghana for a couple of times? <laughs> <laughs> you have a favorite? Uh, I <laughs> or favorites? Mum <laughs> always uh, banku is banku. Um, mum cooks a lot of Ghanaian food there anyway. The jollof is there, plantains there. There's ba- banku the with what? You mentioned well, banku. Oh, okay. Okay. Oh, okay, Christian, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. No, yeah, mum's mum cooks it every now and then. She's always cooking jollof or wachia or something. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I enjoy I enjoy the food every time I come. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you once again for having me. No Thank problem. You. God bless. God sure. bless. All right, all right. Bye. Thank you. See you. Bye bye.